Okay, so here's how I design a start from zero path to learning machine learning if I could do it over with much less wasted motion and way more hands-on practice. I'll break it into five stages. You can jump in wherever you are comfortable. First comes foundations. You should only take one week to revise your basics. First is math, only what you need. Focus on engineering level understanding, not proving theorems. So what you need to learn is linear algebra, vectors, matrices, matrix multiplication, dot products, norms, linear transformations, very basic. Eigenvalues, eigenvectors, only for intuition, not for proof. Goal checkpoint is you can read and understand this, which is a dense layer, y equal to wx plus b, and know what shapes wx and b typically have. Best playlist to understand this is Essence of Linear Algebra by Three Blue One Brown. Next comes probability and statistics, random variables, expectation, variance, common distributions, Bernoulli, Gaussian, categorical, base rule, mean, median, quantized, correlation, and goal checkpoint is that you can interpret a histogram and know what overfitting means and understand what a confidence interval is. Calculus also lightweight, not too much depth. Derivatives as rate of change, partial derivatives, gradients, chain rule. And goal checkpoint is you understand at a high level that gradient descent is move parameters towards the point that decreases the loss. The best playlist for probability and statistics is this one. And best playlist for calculus is Essence of Calculus by 3 Blue 1 Brown. Basically, why these resources? Because these resources straight go to machine learning applications so that you will learn the math that is only necessary for machine learning applications and you won't waste time knowing things that won't matter. And if you've already watched this playlist, just do a short NCRT revision and you'll be good to go. Basically, the idea is that don't get stuck trying to be a mathematician. If you can follow derivations in blog posts and understand the story of the math, you are good to go. Next, programming, two to three weeks. You can't do machine learning without being a good coder. And machine learning is done only in Python, so you need to learn Python basics. Data types, loops, conditionals, functions, classes, simple usage, file, input, output, working with virtual environments. Programming with Mosh playlist is the best one. Free CodeCamp is also a good resource. Absolutely free on YouTube. Next comes data and scientific stack. NumPy, arrays, broadcasting, indexing. Pandas, data frame filtering, group by joins, missing values. Matplotlib, basic plotting, and PyTorch, tensors. My video full library is there. The playlist is in the description. That's the only thing you will need, you don't need to learn too much in depth. Now comes obviously core machine learning, which will take one month. This is where most people waste time jumping to neural networks or weird topics too early. I do it in this order. First is supervise learning basic concepts to fully understand. Train on test split, cross validation, overfitting versus underfitting, bias variance trade-off, evaluation metrics. In regression you have MSE, MAE, R square. In classification you have accuracy, precision, recall, F1, ROC, AUC. With respect to algorithms, don't just know what they are and what they do. Train, tune, and evaluate them. We have linear regression, regularization, ridge, lasso, logistic regression, k nearest neighbors, decision trees, random forest, gradient boosted trees, XG boost, or light GBM, support vector machines, just conceptually is all good. For each algorithm, use scikit learn on two to three datasets. Try changing hyperparameters, seeing performance changes, plotting learning curves. This is where you actually build intuition. Best course is Machine Learning Specialization by Coursera. It has all the algorithms you will need and in great detail. And it's taught by Andrew Ng himself. So it's probably the best course out there. Link is in description. Next is unsupervised learning basics. K-means clustering, PCA, dimensionality reduction, maybe TSNE and UMAP for visualization but not deep theory. Basic idea is when to use clustering versus classification, comparing the models, when to use what. PCA for visualization and pre-processing, not for solving algorithms. You need to understand not only the algorithm, but when and where you should use it. Because that's what is asked in the interviews. Next comes structured mini-projects. For example, tabular classification, predict, churn, prod, loan default using a Kaggle dataset. Kaggle competition datasets are the best one that you can get for doing projects in machine learning. For each project, the best way to solve it is define the problem and the metric. EDA that is exploratory data analysis, baseline model, logistic linear regression, stronger model, tree based for example, random forest, x tree boost. Compare metrics and reflect on why performance changed with which algorithm and why some algorithm is better suited to some problem and why others are not. Also reason why hyperparameter changing should change the way accuracy works for your model. Because these type of questions are asked in an interview and if the interviewers look at your project and they ask these type of questions, you should be able to answer them. This habit of reflection is what actually levels you up. Next comes things that are a bit advanced, but these help you to distinguish yourself from the crowd. So deep learning and modern machine learning. This will take around two to three months. Only once the above is done and you are fully comfortable in that, you should start this. First one is neural networks foundations. The core ideas perceptron, multilayer perceptron, MLP, activation functions, ReLU, sigmoid, tanh, loss functions, cross entropy, MSC, back propagation conceptual, not derivations, gradient descent, SGD, Adam, train validation, test datasets, early stopping, regularization, dropout, weight, decay, 
frameworks. I picked PyTorch if I was starting now. I picked TensorFlow during my first years and it messed me up. So PyTorch is much more easier. For deep learning, the best course is Deep Learning Specialization by Coursera. Next comes more things that you can do to make a mark on the recruiter and to make your resume get selected on the first try. Because many people actually reached machine learning and complete this course. So you need something to be able to distinguish yourself from the crowd. With so many layoffs going on, you need something that will make you special. So for this, I recommend specialization samplers. So you don't need to go deep into all of them, but try one project each to get a taste. Computer vision CNNs or just use a pretend ResNet. Task is basically classify images, for example, cats and dogs or sci and subset. And in case of NLP, free LLM basics, so know all the basics. For NLP, I highly recommend NPTEL course, which is taught by IIT professors and is really good, absolutely free. You need to know tokenization, embeddings, RNN, LSTM at a high level, but realistically jump quickly to transformers or LLMs. Use pretend models from hugging face, tasks like text classification, sentiment analysis using a pre-trained transformer, time series forecasting, Basic lag features, rolling means, train a regression model on time series features, understand train or test validation splits that respect time. So there's Monte Carlo simulation, there are lots of things that are relevant here. Again, these are extra, these are to make you special, but only special works if you know the basics. Last is obviously projects, portfolio. This is where I'd spend the most time if I could start over. Build three to five serious projects. Serious means with clear problem, data, metrics, and trade-offs. Definitely one option is to do some business-ish problem like scoring, churn prediction or pricing model from some open dataset. Basically focus on baseline versus improved model interpretability, feature importance, SHAP, etc. Next is end-to-end -end machine learning system. Take a model and save it. Load it in a simple API, Flask or Fast API, hit it from a small frontend or a script. Goal is to understand deployment. Now something you actually care about like music recommendations, sports predictions, game AI, climate data, finance signals, etc. You will push 10 times harder if you are actually doing something you are interested in. And chances are that saying that project, the company where you are wanting to go in will hire you. Next, obviously show your work. I could not stress it over. If I could start over, I will write short blog posts and notebooks explaining what problem I tackled, what worked, what didn't, what I learned. Push everything to GitHub, organized by projects, not just random scripts. This is a mistake that I did. My GitHub was so unorganized. Right now, it's way better. Possibly share some small write-ups on LinkedIn. I did not used to do that. And only when I did it in my fourth year of college, then only I got the machine learning internship for the first time because the recruiter reached out to me. You learn a lot by explaining your work on LinkedIn and you're able to catch the recruiter's eye. What to avoid if starting over? Binging too many courses without building anything. This is something which many people make the mistake of. So many people get stuck in, I can't start machine learning until I learn all about linear algebra. I must fully understand every formula in deep learning. Or maybe jumping to generative adversarial networks or reinforcement learning or complex LLM fine tuning before even understanding the basics. Some people also over fixate on tools, the exact framework, the MLOps tag, the latest library. They matter less than fundamental stress projects. You need to understand this. Now comes the fun part. So I'm a machine learning engineer myself, working right now in the domain of machine learning and generative AI as a fresher, immediately out of college, though I did have two machine learning internships during college. Now I do one is to one machine learning career consultation as well on the side, and I'm willing to help you become a machine learning engineer. So you need to tell me your current background in math, school level, university, coding languages, any exposure to stats or ML, and we can have a great discussion. And I will give you a personalized roadmap that will help immensely to lead you to get to the dream that you are wanting. If you are happy, I am happy.